Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to be um, painting the doors. So let's just get to work. So I've got the car all masked up and all prepped up already. As you can see, this is all sanded down to 800 grit, removing all orange peel. Same with this. And I masked it, basically back masking it so that only the door is exposed. So I'm gonna be spraying the whole door today, both sides. Just need to tack it off. I've already wiped it down with um, wax and grease remover, Windex, and um, um, isopropyl alcohol. So just need to tack it down and then we're good to go. First coat all flashed off, now tacking it off for the second coat. So here I had to adjust to a smaller fan to get into the smaller crevices. Here's the final tack off before I hit it with clear. And here's the final coat of clear. All right guys, so this is the third spray session, but we're finally done. I finished the doors today. I've already unmasked the car. Um, I, take it, I took the plastic as soon as I was able to. So basically two hours after the Clear coat has dried, so no more tackiness and all that, and I just pulled the masking off. Um, right now, I've just been kind of cleaning up in the garage. Since I laid water down on the floor, all the cardboard that I had on the floor was basically soaked. So I took all that out and I tossed it, as well as I took a whole bunch of the masking, like the plastic sheets, um, took all that out. That was on the floor, it was all sticky and stuff. So I'm still gonna be taking this down here. Um, this was what I used to set my spray pattern. Um, that is very important to get the system spraying right, but it can't do a whole car. Um, I've done the whole car and I did three spray sessions. I'm all out of paint now. Can't fix anything anymore anyways, unless I buy more paint. But let me show you how the doors turned out. So check that out. Like, look at my reflection. That is nice and glossy. It looks really good, nice and clean. I got this whole top layer all repainted and re-cleared. This was um, not painted. This was the edge that I couldn't hit when I was over there, it's, you know, like by the garage door. Really wish I could have hit this so that I didn't have to redo this whole thing. But then again, it was missing a whole bunch of these edges too when I was painting. So. I got that all cleaned up. It's all painted and nice and glossy now. Um, I'm just, ha I have the door kind of open a little bit just for it to cure. And then I'm gonna work on polishing the whole car. But let's take a look at the other door. Here's the other door, just as glossy, just as nice. Turned on the light just to see. But yeah, I did, my initial first coat, I did drip it. I didn't show that on footage because, you know, you don't want to see me fixing a drip. But essentially, after I dripped it on the first coat of base, I had to sand the whole thing down again once the base was dry enough. And then I was able to paint base over it again. I had just enough base to do this. So, you know, I, I left out there. I didn't want to go and buy more paint. But that's basically how it turned out. 
The next little bit, I guess, is just me polishing the car. I'll probably show you guys when I get my buffing pads. I ordered them from China uh, and I still haven't gotten them. So it's been over a month, so I might just order some on Amazon and then use those buffing pads instead. So we'll see. But for now, I'm just gonna wait for the car to cure. I'm gonna leave it for probably a few more days and then I'm gonna start piecing the whole car together. But in the, in the meantime, I'm just gonna clean up the garage and maybe I'll start um, rust proofing it using some uh, fluid film and stuff and getting in there. I'm gonna, I have a 360 aerosol nozzle, so I'm just gonna plug that into the fluid film and just gonna spray all inside the rockers. That way it'll prevent it from rusting in the future or anything like that. But that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, you know, if you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.